So this video is going to be an introduction to the estimate costing screen. We're going to have a look at how to navigate around this screen and also have a look at how to use the status options for each category. Then we are going to have a quick look at how to search for catalog price items to include in your estimate. And finally, we're going to have a look at how we can print out a bill of quantities from the estimate costing screen. Okay, so I've just created a new estimate and we're currently looking at the estimate costings tab here. This is essentially the page where you will list out and price up the various items that are going to be included in your estimate. And these items will generally be grouped into different cost categories, sometimes also referred to as cost centers. Now the categories and items that you see here will generally depend upon what template you used to start your estimate from. That is indeed the first thing that BuildExact asks when we create a new estimate. And essentially a estimate template is a starting point loaded with items, categories, and also prices. I've used the BuildExact sample single story house template as a starting point for my estimate. So if your estimate costing screen looks a little different, it may be because you've used a different estimate template. And just to point out that an estimate template is specifically just a starting point. Once we've actually created an estimate, we can modify the items and the categories that we see on this screen. You can delete categories if you would like to. You can also reorder categories by clicking and holding on the six dots to the left of the category title. We can also use this add button to add new categories that we want to see. There's a few different options for adding categories here. And finally, we can also copy categories as well. Now, there's a few use cases for this. One of them may be if you're pricing up a multi-unit development, and perhaps you want to price the individual units uh, categories separately. In that case, you could certainly make a copy of each category. The same principles apply to the items within each category. If I just click on the uh, gray bar here for preliminaries, the category will open up and we'll see the items within the category. You can certainly see that those six dots exist uh, within the item selection as well, so we can reorder these items. Similarly, we can also delete any items and make copies of them as well. And finally, we can also add in new line items just by clicking on this uh, green plus icon here. Cool. Uh, one thing that I did want to talk about is the category statuses as well. So we have three here. Uh, essentially what these are, are flags that you can place on your estimate to indicate where you're up to in the quoting process. By default, the uh, status will be not completed, which basically means that the category is still able to be edited and changed, either by hitting on the blue edit pencil or just by double clicking anywhere on the uh, item list specifically. Other options as well uh, would be complete. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It'll just show that this particular category has been fully priced up and uh, we're now working on the next one down. If a category is marked as complete, you may notice that the add item and blue edit pencil are gone. And that's just because once the category is marked as complete, it's no longer able to be edited. This can be quite useful if you've got multiple users within your account working on the same estimate, because they'll be able to see where you're up to. Finally, I want to talk about the not required status. And this can be quite useful for a variety of applications. If I mark a uh, category as not required, we'll see that it's struck out. And essentially what that means is that it's not going to be included in the quoting process moving forward. If there were items that were priced up within this category, all of those uh, items and the prices attached to them will not be included in the quote total. This can be quite useful if perhaps you have some upgrade packages that you can therefore turn on if the client opts to include them, and you can turn them off certainly if uh, they're not required. This is a lot better than deleting uh, a category at times because if the client does change their mind and decides that they do want the items included in that, in that category, you can swiftly uh, turn it back on and ensure that all these items are therefore included moving forward in the quoting process. 
One more thing to talk about is the internal notes section here. Uh, you can use this to type in any notes regarding items within this category. It's a bit of a free text field that exists on the estimate costing screen. These not notes will not be shown to the client, but instead will only be viewable on this screen. Uh, this is quite useful if more than one person is estimating or if you want to record any estimate related notes here as a reference. Now, as I mentioned before, in order to uh, open up a category for editing, you can either click on the blue edit pencil or simply double click in here. I usually like to double click because it's a bit faster. And now we'll have a look at the various fields for each item. So uh, the description field is essentially going to be the name of the item. Uh, the type of item is generally reflective of uh, what kind of item this particularly is. We have material, labor, MATLAB, which is a combination of material and labor and is generally uh, reflective of supply and install items. We also have equipment and subcontractor as well. Uh, we have a quantity box, which is inherently tied into the two tools that you see just next to it. So we've got a calculator and a takeoff tool. We certainly have a lot of videos regarding takeoffs, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. Uh, each item will have a unit of measurement or how the item is measured or purchased. And we also have the unit cost field, which basically tells you the cost of each of these items. The quantity and the unit cost will multiply together to get our total uh, price, excluding uh, tax and excluding markup. And finally, uh, the quote total section here will show you how much this is uh, costing the customer and Build Exact is adding on 10% GST. Cool. One thing that I also wanted to point out that's a bit newer to Build Exact is the item notes as well. So for any item that you do have on this screen, you can add uh, specific notes here. If you do add these notes, there is an option to actually show these to the client in the quote letter. Uh, otherwise, you can just record notes uh, for specifically for these items that can be used uh, just internally. Now, um, another thing I wanted to add is that we also have the functionality to search for items that are stored in the catalog section, which is essentially just a database of price lists. If we did want to utilize the catalog section, we can certainly add an item. And one of the icons next to this item is the magnifying glass here. If I click on the magnifying glass, I'll be able to have a look through the various catalogs that I have connected to my account. I'm just going to use the build exact sample catalog in this instance. And if we haven't typed anything in the description field of this item, we can simply browse the various categories within this catalog. We could also type in what we're looking for as well. So if I type in door here, we'll see various options that have come up for different types of doors. And once I've found the one I'm looking for, I could just click on it and it will load straight into my estimate. I can then uh, do takeoffs from this item if I wanted to. And certainly one thing I want to point out is that any catalog item that you do load in will have this badge. And when you click on it, it will show you which catalog it's come from and some information about this uh, specific catalog item itself. Now, another way of searching for catalog items is just to start typing into this field here. There is an option that I've currently got turned off, but I will turn it back on under this cog to show catalog search results. Some people love this, some people not so much. But if this is turned on, if I start typing an item in here, basically Build Exact is going to come up with a list of the items that closely resemble the search term um, so that I can just click and select from there. Again, some people like this, some people don't. It's really personal preference. So if you don't want to see that happening, you can come and turn this off from here. Cool. Now, uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is how to print out the category and items report for a bill of quantities, essentially. 
This is probably not a client facing uh, document, but it's certainly an option for uh, internal use. Basically from the cog up here, I can select print categories and items. I could render it out as a PDF, an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document. And if we have a look at that report, we'll essentially see a, a large list of the categories that we have, the items, and we'll also be able to see the quantities and the costs once they're loaded in. So that is our introduction to the estimate costing screen. We have other videos on items like takeoffs, recipes, and markup as well. So that also relates to this screen, and I would encourage you to check those out. But as always, if you have any questions, uh, please hit the need help button here where you can access our FAQs and our training content. Thank you very much.